All right, this is one of my pride and joys here. This is the Emperor TS5010 with the matching TS5011 power supply. Everything here is clean and nice. Cases are in very, very good shape. You can see the pictures. This is the serials, a 3X version. And it comes with this matching power supply. It has nice two dual fuse terminals. It has the PA, or sorry, the speaker jack and the power cord meant for this radio. So yeah, everything is in really good shape. Sorry about the hair. Seems to collect every once in a while, but yeah, this uh, is real nice unit here. Doesn't look like it was ever mounted anywhere. Does look like there was a, a mic jack on the side here at one point in time for, I'm sorry, a mic holder. But yeah, this uh, unit, let me go ahead on the other side here. Never been to open up here. So this has an external a speaker built into it as well front firing very nice this sits on uh, little rubber feet you can see the underneath there so this power supply case underneath it is a match up dust that off but in a good shape here great unit front on this pretty good shape no worn buttons but uh, I thought we had a little condition so I'm gonna go ahead and power this unit up it does have a high cut filter uh, the clarifier on this is locked. The RIT is locked. Um, this does have a high cut filter built in with the channel mic mod. So instead of using this channel button that the uh, factory stock was, it uses the uh, same encoder here so you don't skip. Because some of these bands were off. Let me go ahead and power it up. We'll see if we got conditions. Get that right in the uh, center position. may need a little warm up this uh, very old unit here so we do have conditions a little bit uh, 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 dryer line coming in this is a hundred uh, this is uh, 25 watt it was a poor man's version of Lincoln 2 almost pretty much the Lincoln 2 uh, before the actual Lincoln 2 came out. So, yeah, this uh, does have power, battery backup, so it does remember where you're at. And like I said, this is in the F band, and when you're under here, this mic button operates uh, wherever this span is. So if you went over here, it would operate that as well. Good to have that instead of the original. Um, of the... Uh, one of the things that were done, so it's pretty nice, because that's a necessity. Now we're, let's go back down here. Let's go back to 385, use the mic buttons. But yeah, like here, coverage is very well on this 26.5 to 30.15 megahertz. Uh, let's go back to 38. See if we can hear anybody, maybe talk to somebody real quick. But yeah, this is the one that is for sale. My most pride and joy here. Let's see if we can hear anything. If not, we'll just do it through the icon. CQDX, CQ, CQDX, World Radio 1200, South Carolina, standby. Now, my antenna's not the best here. Let's see if I can do it on the icon real quick. Um, audio check one, two, three, four, audio check one, two, one, two, audio check one, two, three, four. So yeah, that's just through the ICOM on lower side. So yeah, it does, uh, does everything it needs to do. Wonderful radio. It's one of the ones I don't need any longer in this matching power supply. Not too many were sold as far as I can tell, but we'll go ahead and get this back up on the channel. Yeah, Scotland's coming in. And then we're hearing the Heterodyne from AM. But yeah, we have uh, CQDX 1200 South Carolina, stand by. Well, we don't have any conditions here. But you, you can hear from my ICOM, it works very well. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's one of the ones here I don't need. And it has a nice headphone jack as well, nice hard cord. Uh, how hard switched on off power button but yeah this is a great radio so this is going up for sale and uh, 
appreciate you all checking it out. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like I'm able to talk, but you can see it does transmit. And it's on frequency on sideband. So this is a beautiful radio. Again, this is this radio here. And that is its serial number. So this is what you'll get. Both the radio and power supply. All right, 73. Okay, well, this is uh, something else I forgot. I need to add the power on these, uh, power output, 100 watt slug. We'll go ahead and turn the peak on. So we'll be on this meter here coming out of this radio. We're sitting at this, our power. I've never really messed with this too much. Audio, check one, two, audio. So we're already peaking 25 off of this. And uh, we're all the way up. Audio, check one, two, one, two, one, two. It doesn't really do that much more after that. But yeah, then again, this uh, beautiful little Motorola transistor built in here. Um, our power all the way down. I think it may have been matched up for an amp and you can definitely do that. Uh, with the adjustments inside. I think there is high and low power adjustments. So you could match this up with a beautiful um, amp for a base unit or a mobile if you want. Audio check, one, two, three. So it doesn't really seem to do too much. I'm not sure exactly why. Um, I don't know where it was, uh, what the minimum was out of these, but this is uh, the power side. Um, beautiful little Motorola transistor in these and uh, great little radio to grab. So uh, 73.